Hey, Tim Stasio here, and you may remember the video I did where I held a bottle under this drain to measure what the latent capacity of this system right here in Oak Island was. Uh, we diagnosed that we had a lot of leaks in our return air system. It was a pan joist, and once I uncovered it, I just I found return leaks I could stick my hand in. That was allowing this beautiful North Carolina coastal humid air to enter right into the AC unit, just overwhelm it with humidity. I want to show you what I did. Uh, some things were approved, some things have not been approved yet by the owner, uh, but let me just take you through what some of the solutions I offer were and how that job turned out. Well, you had his local handyman, uh, because I'm not a carpenter, uh, take down all this wood, the soffit where the return air was coming uh, out at, and uh, we replaced it with a hard round pipe that connected all the way back to a metal plenum box. Uh, and that allowed us to take care of all those return leaks that were sucking in all this moist air. The other thing that we did was we took the return plenum. We weren't able to uh, take it out and put metal in there just the way it was built in the wall. There's a bunch of wires in the way. But we were able to encapsulate it with mastic, sort of like a next best thing kind of approach. Uh, so let me show you how the dehumidifier turned out. So what was approved was putting in this Santa Fe dehumidifier. This is the Santa Fe Ultra 70. Now this house really needs a lot more dehumidification than just 70 pints. The problem is that this unit ties into a two ton heat pump. And so the maximum airflow that we're gonna get at a two ton heat pump is gonna be around 800 CFM. And when you mix 130 to 150 CFMs of warm air. Remember, these things put out hot air. When you mix that with the cold air, the mixed air temperature you feel coming out of the vents doesn't feel that cold. So uh, you've got to be careful about oversizing a dehumidifier on a small air conditioning system. Of course, we got our backdraft damper that's behind this insulation here that prevents when the dehumidifier is off, it prevents air from back tracking through the dehumidifier and turning it into a giant bypass. Uh, in addition, of course, we've got our low voltage uh, controls. I've got a float switch here, but I also have a float switch here that will also shut off the dehumidifier. Well, why am I putting it in the pan for the air handler? That's because if water backs up out of this drain here, uh, the first place it's going to start spilling over. Of course, the unit will get taken out by this SS tube. Then water will start dripping out of this pan. That's the next place water is going to collect. It's going to fill this pan up. And unless I have a switch that's going to tell the dehumidifier this pan is full, this dehu is going to keep running and overfill this pan and cause a flood. So you got to think about where the water is backing up to. And sometimes you got to put extra float switches in there. The other feature that I have here is behind this box is a 24 volt relay because we're controlling this. Unfortunately, we're not able to control it off the Haven uh, this time. We're controlling it off the Nest, wah, wah, or from the Nest. So that star terminal sends 24 volts on a wire. We catch a common, we energize a relay that's behind here, and then that relay turns on the 24 volts that the dehumidifier generates. Um, I put this in a box because I'm starting to get tired of seeing uh, just wires dangling everywhere like, this little rat's nest right here wasn't in our scope to fix that but when I'm wiring something up from scratch I'm gonna put it in a box I don't I'm not gonna put open wires wire nuts uh, open relays even those low voltage and technically it's probably okay I just like the way it looks when it's put in a box so at the end of the day we've got a dehumidifier that's doing all it can uh, and what I mean by all it can is probably not going to be enough because this house is incredibly leaky. Uh, we offered to do a blower door test and comfort consult. He has not approved that yet. So we installed this with the written agreement that if he still has humidity problems, then it is no fault of us. Rather, we offered and he declined a comfort consult. So uh, great product, Santa Fe, uh, but they can only do what they can do. And the envelope has to agree with the HVAC system or else it's not going to work right. So limited expectations on this job, but hopefully you kind of see my installation here uh, with the limited scope that, that was approved. And we'll just do the best we can for this customer.